Hello, my name is Rex Wen. I'm an Iron Speed Designer MVP, and today I'm going to take you through a brief tutorial on how to customize the PDF report from within an Iron Speed Designer application. Now, if you followed along in my recent videos about customizing themes or cascading style sheets, this particular video folds in nicely with that topic where if you're really trying to customize an Iron Speed Designer application to meet a specific corporate brand, following up on the PDF report is going to be something you're going to want to do. Now the PDF report is something fairly new within IronSpeed. If you haven't checked on IronSpeed in a while then this is something that's really neat. I think it's a very mature uh, tool to place in the hands of your end users and for me I've had a lot of positive feedback about the PDF report. People are excited about it. People are using it a lot. Um, and people are unaware that you can customize it. You can change the layout of this report. You can change the look and feel. Um, if you're comfortable working in XML, there's a lot that you can do with this report. There is more information available about the Iron Speed PDF report uh, formats that's online, so make sure you visit the helps. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have generated uh, an Iron Speed Designer application uh, in Iron Speed 5.1 Enterprise. This is a language neutral demonstration. We don't need to know C sharp or VB for this example. It doesn't matter. We're going to be strictly working in XML and we can do all of this customization from within Iron Speed Designer. If you do have an XML editor that you like or perhaps even um, a web design tool that will do XML files, Perhaps you want to follow along using that tool, but for this demonstration, all we really need is Iron Speed Designer and a generated application. To begin with, I have generated an Iron Speed report already. This is my running application, and I just clicked the PDF report. And I've minimized this report down here below. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our Iron Speed application and I'm going to show you how to customize the XML file in Iron Speed so that we can produce a custom report. And for me, um, XML, CSS, I'm not the best at web colors and maybe, maybe coming to XML, this is all kind of new for me. And um, I want to change this report, but I don't know a lot about what's going on. So Within Iron Speed Designer, we're going to go into the Reports folder, and we are going to, let me pull this out a little bit more. Uh. Sometimes when you're shooting these videos, it takes so much processor that some other things don't work as well. So I want to focus on this PDF.report. We have two other PDF report styles in here, but this PDF.report is the default, and this is where we're going to spend our time looking. When you first open this report in the designer, you're greeted by a paragraph that explains these report styles, how they're applied, and how you want to edit them, and then there's additional information referenced online. I would recommend checking that out. If you do want to use a third-party application to edit the XML file, um, it is part of the generated application. So what you would do is browse to the location of your generated application. And for me, mine is right here in Custom Reports. So we're going to jump in here, and then we're going to jump into the Reports folder. And that's where we're going to find these XML styles as well. And we can open these in our favorite editor. Um, Ultra Edit happens to handle them pretty well too. And if you do use an editor like Ultra Edit, make sure you can just change the view to XML. And now suddenly you have nice syntax highlighting, expand and collapse. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and minimize that out of the way and jump back into our demonstration. I use a third-party tool that I wrote, CodeFrog Color Picker, to disassemble XML and CSS um, to make it easier for me to go in and get the customization that I'm after. Um, this report format is broken up very intuitively. Um, I could spend some time going through each of these things. Hopefully, 
you understand top left bottom margin and things like that you can rearrange this XML to produce different formats and different layouts uh, you have a lot of control here um, if let's just assume that we want to change some of these colors in here but we're new to XML we don't necessarily know what we're looking at what I do is I jump in and I'm just gonna jump down here to the bottom I'm gonna start grabbing some of these colors and I'm just gonna paste them in as I go um, and we are gonna unravel this XML very quickly and as we go along we're just creeping our way back up this file and I'm looking for any color tags because the color tags are actually going to tell me where the specific parts and pieces are of this XML template. And that's probably good enough for our purposes. Let's go back up here. Now I've pulled these out and in my tool I'm going to hit apply now and I get to see what these colors are. So I can see down here, this is any color, that color references this row, uh, this color is my alternating row, and so I can come in here and I can make changes to this style pretty quickly. I want to change the back color of this row right away, so let's go down and do that. And I remember seeing that down at the bottom right here. So I'm just going to take my color picker and I'm gonna go grab kind of a light pink and grab the hex color code and I'm just gonna paste that in I'm gonna hit save and then let's let's go ahead and change this column header up here uh, let's make that red border go all the way around and again, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be kind of clumsy in my attempt to do these things. Uh, I'm looking for maroon 82D07. So what I want to do is copy that, and I'm gonna put that all the way around to frame that border, left, right, top, bottom. But you'll see up here we have some border width styles that we need to update. So let's go ahead and do that. and then let's go ahead and see how our report changes now I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit well actually let's leave it right where it is and then let's jump back in to our application and let's pull another PDF report and see what we get and it doesn't look pretty but it is what we're after and just that easily we can change the look and feel of this report so not a super in-depth discussion necessarily but it does show you how to go in and customize these colors and brands and using the XML you can change the layout for these columns and rows I mean you, you have a lot of power and flexibility and there is definitely a more detailed explanation of this online but this will at least get you started if you have more questions or if you need individual help, feel free to contact me through the forums or by email. Thank you.